it's Becky with Design Bundles, and today I'm here to talk to all my Silhouette people. You guys, come on, step closer. Silhouette people, I'm here to talk to you about updating your software. Now, you guys probably have a handle on updating your software, but you still want to check out this tutorial because we are sneaking in a trick at the back and we're showing you how to undo an update, okay? We're talking about going back to a legacy version and the reason why you might want to do that. So go ahead and take out your notepad, take some notes, and we're going to get started. Okay, so let's talk about there's a difference between upgrading and updating. So upgrading is when you are talking about upgrading to Designer Edition, Designer Edition Plus, or Business Edition. And we do have a video on that, so definitely check that out. But if we're talking about updating your software, then that just means that you may have an older version of the software and you're ready to update to a newer version, either just to stay on top of changes or because you have some additional features that you've heard have been released in a newer update and you're ready to take advantage of those. So now when we're looking to find out what version of the software we're on, we are going to go to the help menu. Um, now I'm on PC, so I believe that if you're on a Mac, you have a menu that says Silhouette Studio, and that's what you're gonna click on. But um, either way, look and find, you have a menu setting that says about Silhouette Studio. And when you click on that, you will see, um, it will tell you if you have upgraded or not, which I have the business edition release. And I am on 4.3.341 SSBE. That is also for the business edition. So when I am ready to upgrade, then I can go to the Silhouette America website. And that's going to be silhouetteamerica.com slash software. Um, if you go to silhouetteamerica.com, you can also look for this icon right here that says software. So if you scroll down, you have a couple options. The current version is the most recent version of Silhouette Studio. That's where most people start off. Um, and we are going to talk about a few other options. Currently, there are no beta versions available, but there are legacy versions. A legacy version is a prior version of Silhouette Studio. Now, there are reasons why you would want to um, upgrade to a legacy version. And, um, you know, it could be anywhere from there are bugs or you're just not crazy about the way something changed. It, it's just completely up to you. A lot of times, um, if you are going to attend some sort of class or something like that, they will tell you what version of the software they're using, and you may want to match their software. So lots of different reasons. We are going to go ahead and download the current version. So um, I'm on Windows. I would just choose Windows right here, click on it, and it will download the software to my computer. Now, when that download is complete, I can click on it and I can open the Silhouette Studio Setup Wizard. Now, I'm just going to choose Next. Um, I can choose Browse and Look, but most of the time this is defaulting to your program files and that's where you want to keep it. I'm going to choose Next and choose Install. And basically, my computer is just going to walk me through all the steps for installing the most recent version that I've just downloaded. Now, um, it can take a little while, so, you know, just keep an eye on how things are going. Uh, but if you need to get up and walk away to take care of something, that's fine. Um, but it will stop at these intervals, and it will tell you what it needs from you. Um, and then, of course, I actually left my Silhouette Studio open, so it's telling me, hey, you, um, you need to close this out. So I'm just going to allow it to automatically close that. But if you can close Silhouette Studio before you start the install, that would be better. So we're just going to run this through and then we will come back and um, take a look at the new version. Okay, so after the wizard is complete, you can hit finish. You have a little checkbox here if you want to or perhaps don't want to launch Silhouette Studio. I'm going to choose finish. It's going to go ahead and open Silhouette Studio on my computer. Now with Silhouette Studio open, I can go to help and about Silhouette Studio and it will tell me I'm now on 4.4.270. Now say I play around in Silhouette Studio and I decide, hey, this isn't the version for me. Um, I found some bugs. I don't like what it's doing or 
just, I just am not ready to update, that's okay because you can actually go back to one of those legacy versions. Now, this version of the software I found gave me some problems um, setting up my registration marks. That's not Cell of America's fault. It's just what happens, you know, when you push out updates to different software, you're going to find bugs and that's okay. So now let's talk about how to do this in reverse. How do I get out of a recent update and get back to a version of the software that I was more comfortable in? I'm going to close Silhouette Studio. And what I will do is I will come down to a legacy version and I will choose the version that I want. Now I was previously on 4.3.341. I'm just going to choose the Windows download. Let it go ahead and download onto my computer. Okay, so once the download is completed, I can just click on it. It's going to um, launch and it's going to let me know that a more recent version of Silhouette Studio is installed on this computer. So I'm going to choose OK and click Finish. Okay, now why is that important? That's important because it's saying, hey, stop, we don't want you to go back, we want you to go forward. There is a way around this. We are going to open um, our downloads folder. Now mine is in my file explorer here, downloads, and I'm going to find the one that I already downloaded here. Remember, this is the one that I downloaded to install the most recent version. And you can tell because it will tell you SSV 4.4.270, whereas this is the one that we just downloaded, which is V 4.3.341, okay? So I'm gonna double click that 4.4.27, and I promise this will make sense in a minute, because when I double click and choose next, it will tell me I can modify, repair, and remove. So I'm going to go ahead and choose remove. And it is actually going to go through all the steps to remove this version of Silhouette Studio from my computer. It's going to remove all the files and all the updates that have taken place. And it's basically going to make room for me to go back and reinstall that earlier version. Once that's finished, I can just click finish. And now I'm going to double click that earlier version and the installation wizard will take care of everything else. Now I don't recommend doing a lot of back and forth, but just know that the option is there if you need it. Um, I usually do recommend holding off on updating to uh, the most recent version, just because I do feel like the legacy versions are less likely to have those bugs that we talked about. You can also check out some of the more active um, Facebook groups for Silhouette Studio updates. And a lot of times they'll let you know um, if there's one that's super buggy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna choose Finish and it's going to launch that legacy version of Silhouette Studio for me and I can proceed to go about my day. So, I mean, it's really super easy. Just that little uh, trick to go in and be able to remove the software. I'm not saying you can't do it another way, but that's the easy way and easy is the way that I like it, okay? Now, of course, if you have any questions about updates or why you would wanna update or anything along those lines, make sure you put those in the comments below. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of great ideas for you right around the corner. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.